Hey guys, Tetra Fox 46 here, bringing some more Battlefield gameplay. Hey guys, how's it going? So I'm going to be playing some Battlefield, as you guys can see. Um, just like I promised, I'm going to be doing a Battlefield marathon, which is basically, essentially, going to be posting five videos of Battlefield back-to-back, -back, four to five videos, uh, spanning from Battlefield 4, Battlefield 5, and the favorite, Battlefield 1. So, I'm going to be posting uh, five videos of those three games. Um, so, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. Um, just decided to take a break, kind of, like, you know, kind of break the cycle of just posting Road to Damascus and Cold War. So, kind of give it a variation. And like I said, when I first started this channel, this channel is mainly focusing on just Call of Duty and Battlefield franchises. So, the other games are just, like, the side games, like, you know, Battlefront 2, uh, Apex, you know, all those, War Thunder, they're all the, basically the side games that I'm just, like... You know, every now and then I try to break the cycle of just having Battlefield and Call of Duty and, you know, decide to throw those in. Um, but yeah. So, like I said, it's going to be five videos of this. Um, in this video, I'm playing with the plane because I entered late and I was like, you know what? Fuck Cyanide Desert. I hate Cyanide because it's always fucking snipers and, you know, it's more fun just playing with snipers. But I, I don't know. I don't feel like sniping and I saw the plane. So I was like, fuck it. Let's drop some bombs on these motherfuckers. But anyways, um, I ended up getting like 50 kills, zero deaths, or 57, zero deaths, something like that. Um, I was like devastating the fucking enemy team, and I feel like I made a difference because of the fact that they got pushed this fucking far, and they still had two battalions, so I was like, god damn, they must have been getting right out there with no Vaseline. But anyways, I was like, shit. So I decided to help out the team with my, uh, you know, attack plane, and I, I, I was pretty effective. Um... But yeah, uh, oh, quick side note before I end this uh, introduction and let the live commentary do its job. I'm at the end. It's not me playing. It's my daughter. Just a heads up. I had to take a big old shit after eating fucking Taco Bell. So I was in the fucking bathroom fighting for my life, taking a shit. And my daughter got the controller and she was just teabagging the sand or something. But yeah, I decided to leave it there just because of the fact that um, where I ended off, it was like finishing one of the battalions so they had one battalion left and i thought i would make it back in time but the fucking team just got raped and yeah you guys will see at the end but i thought i would have made it back in time but yeah unfortunately i didn't but it was still a great gameplay and i decided you know what i'm gonna add this one just because i completely annihilated the team with my plane i was like the ace in the sky nobody could shoot me down and that's how i like it but anyways Hope you guys enjoy this video, and if you do, please drop a like, share, and subscribe. Dropping a like or subscribing if you're not subscribed will help me so much, and it would help me because my voice, I'm always hurting it because I'm always yelling, but yeah. Anyways, it's going to be the same thing in the live commentary and be like talking weird, yelling, all that stuff. I'm just experimenting, you know, this is how I usually talk when I'm playing, uh, but I never recorded it because I was like, ah, I don't want to fucking sound like a crack kid or some shit. So I was like, fuck it, whatever. Um, you know, as you guys saw in the zombie one, I just let it, I just rolled with the flow and rolled with the flow and let myself just talk however the fuck I want to talk. So anyway, like these shells if you guys find it like annoying, so overpowered, let me know. If not, go play. That's why I like Subscribe. using the attack plane because the fighter plane, like when they're using the fighter plane, it's like the bullets aren't that effective when it comes to ground attack. It's more, of course, for fighting fucking fighter plane, like, you know, uh, fighting against uh, other fighter planes. But the attack plane, it's like, goddamn. I feel like it's but the best of both worlds because the bomber is too heavy. Yeah, you can drop hella bombs, but the fucking and then the fighter you can't really. I mean, you can drop those spikes and shit, but it's like not that effective. But this one, you can drop bombs, and then you got this fucking beautiful cannon in the front that does so much splash damage and so much like just regular damage. Like you can, damn, like you. you can, look at that guy. Look at that guy, my dude. But anyways. You can do so much damage with that and then fly by, drop the bombs, and you can just wipe out the rest of the team. Um, and then that's what I'm doing right here and just doing strafing rounds and just finding the enemy team, dropping them bombs, and shooting with the gun. But yeah. But anyways, I hate this map when you're on the ground, especially on Conquest. Uh, Breakthrough is a little bit better, but still it's like a fucking sniping nightmare. Um, especially if you're not sniping back, like you're gonna get sniped if you pop your head up. Oh, look at this guy. 
This is what I love about the attack plane. You can go in the back and just man the gun. Because the fighter plane, <laughs> you, you better know how to maneuver and outmaneuver the enemy and get, get you get on their ass. Because otherwise, yeah. But then at the same time, like if you have a shitty gunner in the back, then I don't know. It's going to be, you're going to get shot down for the most part. But I like doing this. And a lot of times I get to shoot them down or at least like this guy. Once he notices that I jump back, he runs away and it gives me time to heal. Um, but like, I hate when the shitty gunner gets on my, on my, you know, it's cool that he's helping, but at the same time, I don't know. They, I end up getting shot down. I like being solo basically, but whatever. That's just me ranting, I guess. But yeah, anyways, I love this plane and I love this map when I'm in the sky. It's a beautiful map. It's a large map. Look at this guy. Is, okay, I, I thought it was a bomber. I was like, I hate when bombers come after me, like trying to shoot me down. Like, nah, man. Nah. That's not your role, boy. You're a bomber! I swear, these bombs. Mm -mm, mm -mm. I wish I had more, like, different stuff because this plane only has the cannon, the bombs, and then the flares, which it's good enough. Like, you, you, that's like basically all you need, but I wish it would have like emergency uh, repair or something like that. Cause I think you can get emergency repair, but you have to lose one of the things that come with it. So that's kind of the drawback, but I like rocking this just because it gives you a little bit more to basically combat the uh, infantry, the ground, the ground forces. Like this, spraying and praying. Look at this bomber. Is it just me or did these fucking bombers get buffed or some shit? Because look at the damage. God damn, boy. That's like basically more than half. Wait, is it? Yeah, like more than half my health. And then, oh, fuck. I better not get shot. Okay. I'm about to say, I better not get shot down because this guy just shot, saw me get shot, shot up. He was probably like, <laughs> a weak person, a weak plane trying to swoop in and get the kill. Nuh uh. Nuh uh. Saw me jump in the back and took off. I tell you what. One thing I like about Battlefield 1 that is different from Battlefield 5 is that, I mean, it's good and it's not good. I mean, it has its pros and cons, but like, for example, in Battlefield 5, you need to like go back to your original spawn place and get ammo and all that other stuff. But here it just regenerates on its own and you get an infinite amount of like bullets or bombs, but you know, it just basically has to get, be regenerated, which is pretty nice. Cause uh, in Battlefield 5, it's really time consuming, but I mean, it, at the same time, it can come in handy, especially like, uh, for example, if uh, enemy planes in your spawn trying to spawn trap you, then they're gonna have a bad day because they're gonna run out of ammo and then they have to go all the way back to their spawn to get it. So it's kind of like, you know, not really a good idea to do that because you'll end up fucking yourself in the ass. But yeah, that's their problem, not mine. <laughs> all right, all right. We're down to 168, my boys. Um, okay. I like doing that and then, what's it called? Uh, spotting them and then doing this. Uh, can the bombers? I've never flown bombers here. I don't think I have. But can the bombers actually blow up tanks? I honestly don't know. Cause this one does like little to no damage. Like you could probably blow up a, you could probably blow up like a tank if they're weak and you shoot them with a the cannon, then drop the bombs. All right, there we go. Got some chaos. But yeah. Okay. Almost there, boys. I think... Yeah. I think we're still... At two battalions. The enemy has like two more battalions. Oh my god. There's a gunner on my back. There's a gunner on my back, boys! Hopefully I don't get shot down. Because, I mean, I don't, I don't mind when they're like really good gunners. But like, at the same time, I don't know. Sometimes, like I said, they blow me up. So I don't like doing that. I like being solo, like I said. 
man flying is so peaceful especially when you have like nobody like trying to like you know go against you like no because this, this gameplay would have been really bad if there was like a fucking actual pro uh fighter pl pilot on the enemy team i would have been shot down so many times i would have raged through my xbox at the window and it would have been a bad video <laughs> but yeah luckily there's no uh opposing force on the opposite team so i basically can do whatever the fuck i want without anybody like basically opposing me i rule the damn skies i tell you what what jesus christ but yeah that's a good thing <laughs> but they're not like fucking blowing me up and shooting me down all the time because yeah Woo. damn this round's taking forever they're actually pushing us back i mean we're doing some damage like we're, we're still here in this sector but i'm surprised they actually pushed us back like i said i don't know this enemy team seems like they're not all that good to be honest because i mean if they got pushed all the way back here i think this is the final map out of three so it's three out of three and the enemy team still has their full two but i mean yeah they had two full battalions so basically that means they got pushed pretty hard and pretty fast <laughs> back over here so yeah i mean i think this is the last there, there's two more sectors so basically they get this sector in the last sector it's over they won the game the whole entire game um so yeah i'm gonna try to do my best and eliminate as many many money blah, 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 as many as i can so we can finish off this battalion and hopefully just focus on the last battalion and we can win the game and as you guys just saw, if you guys didn't see, I'm doing pretty good. I'm a top player right now. So that also tells you something, because I entered late. And I'm the top player right now. And I'm not, I'm not even capturing points, so I still have the highest score. It might be because of my kills. It might be because I'm in a plane. But nonetheless, I'm still helping. It's kind of different when you're on the attacking force and you're like flying a plane, because at the same time, it's like you can't really capture objectives. Yeah, you can kill the people that are camping. Well, not camping. Here, here... I I'm not, I don't consider it camping here. I consider it defending. Um, so the people defending the points, if you kill them, it kind of like, you know, opens up little uh, sections that the, your friendlies can just rush in, you know, try to take over that sector or that point. So, I mean, it kind of helps. But defending, I feel like defending when you're flying a plane, it's more effective because the more you kill, the higher the chances of you, you know, basically defeating a... a, a uh, battalion and uh, you know keeping those points and winning the game take that you zombie i love dropping the bombs on them it's like damn and i i've seen how they look when they get dropped on me it's like some of them explode it's just like a bunch of like basically grenade uh indicators all around you and it's like oh shit but yeah that's why, I mean, I don't know. Like I said, I've never flown the bombers. So I'm not too sure how strong the bombs are with the bombers. But that's what I love about Battlefield 5. That there's like a bunch of different variety of bombers and bomber types. Like dive bombers and all that stuff. Heavy bombers. You know, I might, I might make a video about that. Because I, I know I've done one with dog fighting. Just like with fighter planes. But I might just do one where I'm just like basically dropping bombs on people. Because honestly, I've never recorded it. But I've like done like some good fucking bombing runs with like the heavy bombers on battlefield 5 like I, I might get some video like that i'm also gonna do one where it's just a tank here in battlefield 1 because i've never i haven't done one like that i battlefield 5 i have battlefield 4 i haven't but i might try to do one there um i might try to do uh also um dog fighting one because i've done a short but it wasn't like a full length dog fighting one so i might do one like that too um but like i said i might i might not i don't know i'll see why well, I, 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 I don't know <laughs> but yeah hope yeah we're almost done with this battalion hang on tight boys and then we'll move on to the last battalion and hopefully win the game because here, uh, unlike uh, Call of Duty, Call of Duty, I don't give a fuck when I don't win or when I lose. I just want the kills. But here, I want the kills and I want to win. 
just because it feels really satisfying when you finally win and you get to ho either hold off the enemy team or push the enemy team back to like basically their original like like all the way back to the uh the you know back sector i don't know what it's called i was gonna say spawn but they don't spawn there they spawn in the beginning where you're basically taking out taking on the first sector but yeah you know what i mean they're almost dead last one oh my god i thought i was gonna get it i hate when i when the uh, when this happens and then you crash does it still because it, it, before it used to count as a death i wonder if it still counts as a death i hope not because i have a flawless fucking run right here but yeah all right the last battalion i'm gonna take a shit i'll be back y'all i'll be back Oh, fuck. I was taking this shit and I just realized my daughter's playing. My god. They got fucking annihilated. <laughs> <laughs> 